What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, the seeds, the food you Wait, Jamie, you, you want you want sip? You want sip? Yeah, girl, get your sip, girl. Get your. I take your. I take your sip. I take your sip. But anyway, we back. Kang in the ring, Queen in the ring. That was some fuck shit. But anyway, I digress. We back for Sunday Night Ski, and we got a show lined up for your ass. We got. We got our truth versus that Hennessy Ronan. If our truth can get a dub, he can get into that chicken. Waffles. Niggas. Title match with Hennessy Ronan. You know what I'm talking about. We got the family versus the hard R's. You damn right tag team shit's going down. You know what I'm saying? They got to fight it out to see what's going on. We got Omos. Oh, oh, oh. Look, first of all. We saved Omos. He was on our side. Now he back on that, you know, if it ain't snowing, he ain't going. And now he fighting Booby Lashley. That's another, that's another, that's two. Nigga. Oh, nigga. Matches for that ass. We also got, uh, we also got J-Mad, man, Jonathan, and WAP. Because she went deep in that tournament for the number one contender match for Sexy Lexi. And that KO uh, Women's Championship. And then your boy. Me. Defending this. Against the number one contender. It, it, ain't, it ain't that whole ass man. Green, and dumb nigga. It's Joe Hendry. Me fighting Joe Hendry. And uh, in the main event. For the. Fuji Weight Championship. You know what it is. And you can get all this shit in that girl. And you can even, you can even bring your dumb ass to the Troy. Tr you know what to do. Big bunch games. You, know, you damn right. Because, you know, you know, after that bullshit show, Dynamite comes up. You know what I'm saying? We go to the Big Bunch Gantina. You damn right with the plan B. It's always on me. And then, you know, you watch that shit on Sunday. And then the plan B, it's still on me. Because it's the weekend, baby, on Sunday night's game. We out there partying. We still got them Lil Zang B Franks. We still got the we still got the, the chick VIP. We still got the hum marijuana lounge. Still blazing it up. And we still got them fuck it up Fuji Fridays, girl. Out here all day getting it for you, the people. Because that's what we do. Fuck it up Fridays with my man Fuge. We got the, the Martha Marijuana Lounge if you want to come and lay out. We got the Chick VIP with the chicken and waffles. They are bomb, but they are not on me. But the plan B is always on me. In the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we, we do need a new bathroom attendant. Lupe is on the run. Don't know where or if she's coming back, but uh, yeah, Lupe's on the run from INS. She's having some problems. Uh, I, I'm I'm thinking about hiring somebody to fight INS just for Lupe's sake. She might be back. Don't worry about that. You know, we 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 cooking over here. We cooking. But anyway, I digress. I digress. We had a great show for you tonight. The the fucking Big Brunch Cantina. The Big Brunch Cantina is always popping off, and you know it's the start of the show. When that cracker says, let's go! Jump in, 
needed multiple extenders. That's right folks, the Backstage Enforcer and first ever Chicken and Waffle Champion. The Hennessy Ronin, ready to battle tonight on Sunday Night Steep. to another exciting episode of Sunday Night Skeet. I am your host and commentator of the night, Mr. Media for 10 Punch here is Tennessee immediately. But for a pinfall attempt, we're kicking off tonight's action with Ninja on the, on, on uh, Samurai action. Well, you know what I mean. Of course, the Chicken and Waffles champion, Hennessy Ronan. It's our truth If our truth can pin Hennessy, he gets a future chicken waffles championship opportunity but it doesn't look like tonight's gonna be great for our truth the man who does not age the Hennessy Ronin stomping stomping our truth like he owes him money my god but our truth immediately back up a Hennessy trying to put him to sleep <clears throat> can he put truth to sleep no! Jawbreaker counter from R Truth! Can R Truth pull off an upset? The Hennessy Ronin is gonna make damn sure that R Truth does not wrap his way out of this one! Power bomb to the outside! Isn't that how Truth got injured? I I'm not sure. He hasn't been back since. He put out some rap albums, I think. Hennessy Ronan is going to make quick work of our truth Our truth in all kinds of trouble folks Oh, here we go. He's showing some signs of life, but I mean Hennessy Ronan Seemingly unstoppable if he can control the chaos backstage What is it gonna take to pin this man? to the mat for three seconds I don't know if our truth has this one figured out, but the Hennessy Ronin is lighting up our truth. I mean, our truth has gotten maybe is only one move. I don't even remember. How did our truth even get that bar filled at all? Oh wait a minute, we've seen something like that before. That was 
a BBC by the Hennessy Ronan. It's over. Stomping out the competition, Hennessy Ronan has yet to find a challenger for the Chicken and Waffles Championship. That's right, folks. Breaking APPW news. Channing Stacks Lorenzo was attacked backstage. Even though there were no witnesses around, there was a mysteriously placed pickle jar near the scene. Channing Stacks Lorenzo has been taken to a local medical facility. Disrespect. They got Tyler Breeze on here, but they don't have Idris and Malik. Come on now. Well, fingers crossed for 2K24. But I digress. The hard R's, the family, find it out here on Sunday Night Skeet. Anything goes. Because I'm not about to sit through a 40 minute tag match where they keep doing the same shit. Big Vito, the big bull, Big Vito, the man who took it to Adam Cole in that famous matchup. Now repping with Tony D and the family, rumbling here on Sunday Night Speed. It looks like the family definitely has a one-upsmanship on the hard R's immediately gets a two count. The match has, has barely started, folks, but Tony D is about to fly! He took down Idris Malik. Getting the business by Big Vito to disrespect. 
But of course, Big Vito. He's not one to mess with, folks. And it looks like Idris is finding that out the hard way. Big Vito tossing him in the stairs. Tony D and Malik fighting it out. Look at this. DDT on the outside. But of course, momentum is the reward for winning this match. These four men are gonna beat the hell out of each other to try and prove something. Tony D and Vito doing this for stacks. Very, very unfortunate. What happened to Stax and a flatliner to Tony D is Idris Spine Buster to Big Vito. But double pinfall attempt. Where's the ref? The ref has vanished. I know the ref is black, but it's not that dark in there. Come on, guys. Big Vito. Running. Okay, the, what the hell is Malik Blade just going the distance? This isn't a marathon. There we go. Idris, it, there we go. Come on now. You beat your opponent up. That's the whole point of this. Vito tasting the steal. It's Tony D and Malik. Everyone's fighting everybody. Non stop action. Of course, Tony D and Stax are the NXT Tag Team Champions, but not the Finding Fuji Tag Team Champions. And the Hard R's are gonna make sure of that. Idris, nice neck breaker as Malik tries to tackle the bull. Big Vito, a very difficult man to defeat. Wait a minute, Idris with a Kendall stick. No, he did not get to use it. Tony D lighting him up. Tony D. Oh, a nice back elbow as Malik pins Vito. What the hell is wrong with Tony D? Tony D is very bad at breaking up pinfall attempts. But I digress. Big Vito able to kick out and a nice T-bone suplex. Big Vito can toss on top of the Kindle stick. That must have hurt as Tony D unloads on Malik. The free pinfall attempt. The family can pick up the victory. No. They kicked out. Wait a minute. Idris is all fired up, but he doesn't know how to land a hit. Our COVID free crowd appreciating every minute. As Idris gets turned inside out with a German and a DDT to Tony D. The bull, big beat out of the fisherman suplex. On the outside, folks, that's going to be very painful. Northern Lights. Look at this, Tony D. Northern Lights and a nice drift away to Malik. It looks like the family is in complete control. Idris can tap in a heel hook as Tony D. Oh! Knocks the taste out of Malik's mouth. Malik trying to fight back, but Tony D has the upper hand every time. Idris and the bull. We got in-ring action, out-ring action. Who is gonna win this match? Insanity and Sunday Night Skeet as Malik takes Tony for a ride as the bull drags Idris. What does he have in store? Wait a minute, what is this? The bull with a sharp shooter. Idris breaks it up. Very smart by Idris. And Malik. The offense, what the hell? Oh, that was all elite from an NXT tag team. The Dragon Screw. Malik headed towards Tony D. Spanish fly from a black guy. Pinful attempt, this could be it for Tony D. No, he kicked out. The bull running back and forth. 
but he has the energy to do it. But look at this. Wow. Fujiwara armbar to Tony D. Big Vito did not get there in time. Idris and Malik could pull off an upset. Could the hard arms be in the next in line for the Finding Fuji Tag Team Championship? As Idris has a chair. Oh, nice and true. Take down to the bull. Look at this. There we go. Another Fujiwara attempt. The chair being utilized. Oh my God. Tony D. Just being manhandled. Big Vito with the package. Power slam pin or whatever the fuck that was. Could this be it? No. He just didn't even attempt to try and save. But Idris, with his own game plan, Fujiwara again to Big Vito. Big Vito in all kinds of trouble, but he gets out of it. He's in enemy territory, but he's fighting like there's no tomorrow. Spine Buster! And a pinfall, but Tony D breaks it up immediately. Look at Tony D scrambling the brains of Idris, Big Vito. Double underhook, soup. No wait, Malik reverses. But Tony D has Idris's number. Oh, that's gotta be it. Tony D with the pinfall attempt. Got Malik in there in time. Yes, he didn't need to. He did not need to. Tony D clobbers. Uh-oh. Oh, the steel punishment. Steel punishment. Oh, my God. The brutality. Tony D just got power slam. Idris is still alive, but Big Vito's going to make sure he taps right now. Big Vito the bull. And Tony D victorious. Tony D still going at it. The family with a hell of a victory tonight. Congratulations. That's Omas versus Bobby the Almighty locking in the hood lock immediately. Could you imagine if this match ended this quickly? No. Omas says no. Fights his way out of it. Of course, Omas, the angry Nigerian giant. Oh, gets clobbered by Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley starts to climb the cage. Omas, that slow fucker has to get up as quickly as he can to stop the almighty and he does the amount of weight that is in this ring right now i hope that damn mat has been reinforced so moss oh my god the almighty crashing and burning oh moss double barrel choke slam pinball attempt on the almighty These two have knockout blows, locked and loaded. This match can end at any time. Another double barrel choke slap. Lashley in all kinds of trouble. Two, oh, two and three quarters. Omas is upset. He can't believe it. But Bobby Lashley will not be taken down so lightly. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at the disrespect to the Almighty. Are you kidding me? He gets out of it. Omas has hit Lashley with his best shots and has failed three times. Lashley back to his feet. It, oh, 
There's no way. There's no way Omas is going to come crashing down. The earth just shook as the Nigerian giant crashed and burned. But these two are still fighting flatliner. Bobby Lashley in the driver's seat. Pinfall attempt in the dead center of the ring. It's a two count. Bobby Lashley looking, frothing. Can they do it? He can make them tap. No, attack the back. Bobby Lashley softening up the Nigerian giant. Of course, Omas would love to knock off the Almighty, who, by the way, does not have a successful cage match in his portfolio of AWW. You remember, he did lose to a Jake the Snake Roberts. But Bobby Lashley's already getting the hell out of there. The Almighty is headed out. The Almighty is about to pick up a dub and a cage match, but Omas, oh, stop, he derails those plans. Omas, Omas brings the Almighty back in. Look at this. And now Omas begins to climb. Can that fucking cage wall hold all of this weight? My God. Omas is in trouble. The Almighty. They are battling it out. Omas is now on his way out. No. Lashley prevents it. Lashley prevents it. Look at this, last night. Oh, he tried to hurt Lock, but it was countered. Uh-oh, you let Omas. Do not let Omas get on a roll. This has got to be it, folks. Omas, the Conqueror. His eyes on that chicken and waffles championship. I think Hennessy's in trouble. through this screen, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, Magic Muff Mafia representing tonight in this triple threat match, oh god, no stranger to gold, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, 
Mrs. Mangria herself, the first lady of ABBW, the first ever Plan B champion, Jenna. The winner of this triple threat match will in fact have an APBW KO championship opportunity in the future. J-Man with a hell of a damn back elbow. They both go after Mangina, which I don't blame them. As WAP, still looking for that breakout match. Still looking for that opportunity to put her on the map. J-Mac conquering Mangina's whack. Look at this. Nice. Head scissor takedown as Mangina showing off that strength. Super heavyweight in her, her rain boots, apparently. Whap, though. Fool Nelson. Hell of a slam. Look at this. Whap. Definitely making sure she does not make any mistakes tonight. She wants that opportunity and she can get it. Look at this. The strength it takes for that. Pinfall and table. J Matt looks for a weapon. Two. Oh, she was so damn close. J Matt had a stop sign as she heads to the tippy top rope. Look at this. Oh. Uh-oh, J-Mad about to feel the pain as well on the stop sign. That could do it, she landed on the stop sign. The ref doesn't know what he's doing. No, a near fall, twice. The world's most deadliest move. It does not even get a one count. Backbreaker, wait, how did the ref get down? I, what the fuck? I was looking at the screen. How did he fall? I didn't even see it. All right. Well, the ref was murdered, folks. But the match continues. J Mad. No. The half up. Man, Gina. Oh wait. Bonk. Plunks their heads together. J Mad. Oh wait, the ref is alive. Oh, a neck breaker. What is WAP? Oh, WAP is about to... Oh, misses. J-Man eats an elbow. WAP dragging j Mad to the middle of the ring, perhaps for a pinfall. Nope. Oh shit, man, Jan has a shovel. What the hell is a shovel doing in this match? Oh my God. Mangina. Oh, there we go. Double team effort takes down Mangina, but Jay Man, oh! A leg drop lariat like. Moon roof! The moon roof! That's it! Moon roof! J Man stamped her ticket to an opportunity, but Mangina. Oh my god, clobbering! This is. Mangina is feeling it, folks. Them skid marks, sweatpants with the butt fingers. The butt fingers, the WAP, not like this. Not like this. WAP is in trouble. J Mad saves the day. Uh oh. Look at this, though. The half foot. Still alive, but J Mad taking it to the rules. As WAP is back on her feet, can WAP get that opportunity she's always wanted? She wants that breakout moment. Her tag team partner is queen of the ring. WAP would love to grab some success, grab that brass ring. That breakout is right around the corner. 
She just needs three seconds to prove to the world why she deserves the opportunity. But J Mad is talking shit to the ground as Mangina is on the hunt for a cunt. But lap. Oh, it's clobbered. J Mad with a damn stop sign. Oh, clobbering Mangina. That's one way to stop a buffalo. Oh, that was an unintentional double team DDT. Mangina's horrible face bruised. Sidewalk slam. Concrete cracked. J Mad attacks. J Mad tossing Watt back into the ring. I'm not sure that was a good idea because now Lap back to her feet. I think it's false count anywhere. DDT once again. Mangina having a bad night, folks. As J Mad stomping a hoe. Who is going to win this triple threat match? It seems like it's anybody's match right now. J Mad armed with a damn shovel. Oh my god! Oh! Clobbering! Wow! This is a hate crime! J Mad beating the hell out of Wap, but Wap is alive and kicking. Man China taking advantage of the distraction. What does she have in store for Wap? Oh my god! A spinning sit down powerbomb pinfall attempt! J Mad needs to break us off, and she does. The punishment being dished out by these three women shows how much they want a shot at the APPWKO Championship held by Lexi. Wap with Das Boot! Das Boot nailing Mangina J Man eats the barricade. Wap, look at this, what is this? Pow! Looks like a reverse hammerlock. DDT, J Mad flowing vertical to lap. Oh, Das Boot once again. Lap has had enough of Mangina's shit. Oh, man, but J Mad armed with a shovel is dangerous in itself. But Mangina tossing J Mad back into the ring so Mangina can take advantage. Oh my god, a hell of a Baskin Robin scoop slam. Look at Mangina posing. Give me a break. J Mad being attacked from both sides. Lap unleashes DDT again. Mangina is still alive. Who is going to win? These three women are beating the holy hell out of each other. We got stop signs. We got das boots. We got barricades. What is going to happen as j Mad with... What is j Mad? What is... Is it Dragon Sleeper on the outside? A Dragon Sleeper! That's it! That's it, j Mad is going to face the AGBW KO Champion! That is for sure not her music, but congratulations to J Mad. She's got a title opportunity.
Do you believe? Do you believe in Joe Henry? The number one contender for the Fuji Way Championship finally gets his shot tonight. Big Carpe himself, the GM of Sunday Night Skeet and your Fuji Way Champion main eventing tonight. He's got a tough challenge on his hands because Joe Henry is no pushover. But of course the Czar of Kronk is up for the challenge. And here we go, folks, our main event, Joe Henry, trying to put the champ to sleep. Look at this, he's got a rear naked choke applied. But the champ has seen this movie before, and it's not a horror movie, so the black guy ain't gonna die first. Julius Caesar and Joe Henry. Caesar is showing off his strength, of course. The former four time APPW champion taking it to Joe Henry. Oh, Joe Henry looking, frothing at the mouth to try and get his first taste of APPW gold in the Fujiweight Championship as it rains down right on Big Carpe. Joe Henry. Look at this again. Again. I was shocked. When Joe Henry took down Mangria, it was like four spine busters and Joe Henry picked up the victory. And Joe Henry shocked the world and conquered Caesar. Not many men have. 
Texans are with a one count on Joe Hendry. There are no rules, no count outs, no anything. And the <laughs> of course, the stairs come into play. But look at Joe Hendry. This is the third time. He is trying to put Cesar to sleep. I don't think I've ever seen this strategy from Joe Hendry before. He is desperately trying to win via submission. Cesar was boasting there. Very big mistake. It's Joe Hendry. Look at this. Look at the strength of Joe Hendry. This is why we believe. Oh my God, the blood rushed to the head of Cesar and a pinfall attempt. Could Joe Hendry become champion? No, a two count. Joe Hendry, a tripod favorite as well. Cesar, a part of the tripod. Look at this. Hanging up Joe Hendry on the damn barricade. A pinfall attempt on Joe Hendry. It's a one count. Cesar. Perhaps Cesar took Joe Hendry too lightly. He was looking past this as if this was nothing. But Joe Hendry is a contender. Joe Hendry, former digital media champion in Impact Wrestling. Oh, it's a boot to the side of the head. All right, Cesar, he wasn't happy with the other stairs, but he's happy with these ones. Oh, attacks Joe Henry. This is how much the Fuji Weight Championship means to Cesar as it clobbers Joe Henry again. It's a stair graveyard here, folks, as Joe Henry fights his way back into this. Joe Henry again! Again! What the hell has gotten into Joe Hendry? Cesar... I think Cesar might have trained for a different match. He was not expecting this. Of Joe Hendry just multiple, multiple rear naked chokes. I don't think I've ever seen him do that on Impact. But apparently in APPW, Joe Hendry is a whole different beast. As he takes down... Cesar with a flying forearm in front of our COVID free crowd up belly. No! Cesar counters that Cesar needs to take this. Oh, a BFT! Shout out to LA Knight! Yeah! Cesar now knows he's in for a hell of a fight as Joe Hendry. Okay, never mind. He changed his mind on the stairs, but Cesar ain't gonna change his mind on this ass kicking. Joe Henry is about to get put to the barricade. That child right there almost died, folks. If the barricade would have came crushing down, that child's parents would be billionaires suing it. Well, not billionaires. It's APBW. We don't have that much money. But I digress. Cesar about to kick the head of Joe Henry once again. Cesar measures up Joe Henry. Can Joe Hendry open up wide for a BBC? It's possible. Yes, BBC. That's it, folks. Big Carpe retains on Sunday nights. No, wait a minute. Joe Hendry kicked out. It's because everybody believes in Joe Hendry. That's why he kicked out, but like a Cesar, just rubbing, punching, pounding, bleeding. Joe Hendry is bloody. And Cesar ain't playing no more. Oh, he just... <laughs> That's not his favorite ref. I don't think Cesar likes that ref that much. Oh, he kicks out his knee. Joe Hendry. A knee to the gut. This is an awesome main event for everybody on Sunday Night Skeet. As Cesar says, the hell with the stairs. I'm getting JH a stop sign. Oh, no, he missed. Joe Henry counters. Monkey flip. Eh, so racist. Joe Henry focuses on Cesar. Tossing him out of the ring again. Apparently, he does not want to end this match on the mat. He wants to end this on the up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A BBC to Cesar. He just hit the BBC to Cesar. Two and a half. The disrespect. The disrespect, Joe Henry. Just hit the BBC on Cesar. 
I can't believe it. Now he's got the stop sign as well. Oh my God, did you see that? Did you see that? He just hit him in the balls. He just hit Joe Henry in the balls and retained. What the hell these are? Why like that? Here, why Caesar did that? Why Caesar? Why he hit Joe Henry in the balls to win? Caesar retains in the main event.